Hey, what's up, YouTube? And today I wanted to talk about psychic and psychic abilities and how it relates to Islam. First of all, I wanted to say that when you bring up psychic or any type of psychic abilities, most Muslims will be like, oh, you know, that's haram, or, you know, even the prophets couldn't do that. You're giving yourself godly abilities. And just in general, you know, when we're going to remove religion out of the equation, people just think it's crazy and that there's no scientific evidence towards it. Well, first I wanted to talk about the scripture. So there's nothing explicitly stating that psychics are haram, don't go to them, this or that, or they, they just genuinely don't exist. But what is in the Quran is that it specifically states that you can talk to God, okay? Allah says that you cannot talk to me except through an angel um, ex or except through divine inspiration. That's the word for ilham. That's also the word for in Arabic for dream. So essentially, I mean, you know, you can get divine inspiration. Now, what does divine inspiration mean? It means symbols. It could mean numbers popping up, you know, in regards to numerology. It could be a thought that comes through your brain. Um, it could even be just, just looking for a symbol, you know, asking for a sign and finding that sign. Um, and, you know, I know there's this theory in some spirituality where, oh, we're all gods, you know, we're all... You know, that, that's not what, when, when someone talks about psychic abilities, no, no one ever says they're divine because they're, you have to understand that everything comes through Allah. Now, at the end of the day, Allah talks about in the Quran, like the thunder, you know, this angel controls the thunder, this angel controls this, but who created the angels, who ordained the angels to do that? It's God. So, I mean, when you come down the chain of command, ultimately at the top is God, but, you know, in regards to how things happen. So... You know, here's where I kind of don't want it. And, and I know there's a hadith that says if you go to a psychic, your salah is not good for 40 days. There's also a hadith that says, this is actually a real hadith if you want to look it up. Don't wipe, you're not allowed to wipe your ass with bones of animals because the jinn eat bones. Now, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a hadith person because ultimately, I mean, scientifically, there's people who've studied this. A lot of them are invalid and, and that's something we know. Irregardless, it's just like reading the Torah, it's just like reading the Bible, the Book of Enoch, the Book of Thoth, or Solomon's Tales. It's just like reading any type of, of text out there. You know, unless it's Quran, we don't necessarily take it 100% fact, but it, it might not also be false. So just, just keep that in mind. You know, as far as the scripture, it says you can get divine inspiration. I mean, that's essentially what istikhara is. Um, so, you know, now I wanted to talk about, you know, what tools are available out there, how can, how does psychic abilities work and you know does it does it intertwine with fortune telling um you know actually the hadith specifically says fortune telling it doesn't even say a psychic because you know i mean a psychic can just be someone who's like a therapist they can kind of figure out what's bothering you you know and what's causing those issues that are bothering you without actually giving you advice about your future and then there's some people who you can go to them and they're going to say xyz is going to happen in your future now you know Myself, personally, I've had dreams of the future. Um, you know, I, I mean, I've had a dream that I got in a, was in a car crash and the next day I did. I mean, it wasn't a big one. I just kind of hit a curb. Um, I know my sister, she went to a protest. I had a dream that my sister was going to get shot. And she went to, and I, she was going to a protest. And I had a bad dream. I'm like, something's going to happen. And I ended up at the protest. This guy ended up shooting at the people there. No one got hurt, thankfully. Um... It recently, you know, in today's politics, on October 7th, when Hamas launched an attack against uh, Israel, um, I had a dream, I had a bad dream. And then I wake up and I look at my phone and then I see, you know, these these Hamas fighters in a truck and they're circling around Sirdat in uh, Israel. And um, I mean, I, I've had it for a lot of things. I, I mean, it's not just me. I mean, personally, I... I I own tarot cards. I've done tarot card readings for people. Um, I had an old video on here that actually had a live tarot reading that I did for someone. And she had a podcast and she's like, oh, I know you do tarot cards. You know, can can you do a reading? So I did it live for her. Um, again, all my tarot card, I mean, all my videos got deleted. They ended up, they were two partners who made this podcast. They ended up splitting apart. So all their, they just deleted all their videos because they, they got a lot of beef, whatever. But, um, you know, I've done readings for people. Um, I've done readings recently for people. Um, I've gone to psychics. I mean, the first time I went to one, it was even an accident. Um, the Actually, the first time I ever gotten figured out about psychics, I was 19. I remember I was going through a breakup and I was just, I remember I looked at the moon and I even looked at the moon today. Whenever I look at the moon, 
that just reminds me of Allah because it's so magnificent and you have to appreciate God's creations. And, uh, you know, I made prayers and I said, God, please, please bring me someone who's going to bring me closer to you, you know, insinuating that I wanted to, to meet a girl who'd bring me closer to him. And, uh, of course, I did the Islamic thing and I went out to a club. And while I was there, I remember I met a girl and she was like shuffle dancing. I just learned how to do this dance. And anyway, she came up to me. She's like, you have a great energy, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I ended up chilling with her later. And, um, you know, I asked her, I was like, oh, how, what do you mean by I have a good energy? Like, what do you mean by it? She's like, oh, well, I can sense, you know, emotions and this and that. And I just thought she was full of shit. I mean, if, we're, if I'm being honest here. And then when I was with her, I thought about my ex. And then so I had this sad feeling come over me. Then she stopped. She's like, yo, like, are you okay? Like, I'm getting a strong emotion from you. And I'm like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I don't want to admit like, oh, I'm thinking about my ex while I'm with you. But I, I mean, that was, that was my first step into, oh, wow, this is real. The next step was I accidentally went to a tarot card reader. I didn't even want to go to one, but I remember I went to one and she started pulling out these cards and I thought it was full of shit. It's like, there's no way these cards are going to show anything. Um, you know, not only did she predict my past, but I was 19 when this happened. Now I'm 29. That was 10 years ago. She predicted my future. I mean, specifically to the point where she said I was going to open up a business with my cousin, which I did. And uh, I mean, at the time she told me, you know, I mean, but it was nice because she was telling me the issues I was going through presently. And that's more important sometimes than just knowing your future because your future sometimes is covered. It's already written. Um, you know, um, I mean, I've personally done them. I've had dreams of the future. Um, I, I mean, I, I want to bring up the scientific evidence now because everything that I say, you know, especially for the people who are atheists or who don't really believe in this stuff, I want you to realize that the CIA, they, they use psychics. They specifically look for empaths. They look for these people. Um, there's an operation called Operation Stargate. They, they use psychics. They use astral projectors. Um, there's a good documentary on that called Third Eye Spies. Um, I know the police force, even on the CIA website, they have a link to poli police force. Sometimes they certify psychics and when they get caught in a dead end or they have missing bodies, the law enforcement will use psychics. And I think statistically it's like, you know, 50% of the time they're able to find um, the bodies that are missing or something like this. But again, I mean, it, it's like this is 50%, you got that's why you got to be careful with these type of because anyone can go forward and say, yeah, I'm a psychic. Anybody can go buy tarot cards on Amazon. It doesn't mean you're an actual psychic. Um, but I mean, it's very real. I mean, even if it worked 2% of the times, I mean, finding a dead body isn't something easy. Um, you know, those are the scientific proofs that this stuff exists. I mean, I, I had things predicted for me that occurred. Uh, I also, I had a tarot card reader who said, you know, this is around Halloween time, who said I was going to go through some legal troubles. And she was like, be careful. You know, it's, she thought well, it was Halloween. I'm probably going to be drunk at a party and I'm going to get a DUI. Uh, but it turned out my buddy from high school, he never paid his rent. And so I got subpoenaed not too long after I went to the psychic because we didn't pay the rent. I mean, it ended up we just paid a fine and whatever. We, we paid it off. It wasn't a big deal. But I mean, the fact that she knew that that happened, there's no other way to know that. So, um, you know, I even had a situation that's very personal to me where I had a close friend who would do tarot readings and she was very talented at it. And uh, it got to the point where she actually figured out it's a crazy crime that happened um, to my cousins overseas. And uh, I mean, that one hit me deep just based on the nature of the crime. Don't really want to go into it too much. But I mean, it goes to show that psychics are not just to say, oh, I'm going to end up with this guy. I'm going to end up with this guy. It's also about healing. It could be used for bringing justice to society. And I know what she told me is she certain things are blocked. I can't just use a psychic and try to find dirt on someone. I mean, it doesn't really, I've never tried to do that. I've never asked anybody to do that. And quite frankly, I think if someone were to try to do that, this, their spirit guides would block them. They'd be blocked by God. Um, if they're doing some sort of devilish worship or, you know, going on the left-hand side of, of magic, maybe they might be able to discover that type of stuff. But for the most part, it doesn't exist. Also, another thing we know is that Allah said that, you know, at the time the jinn, they used to try to sneak up in heaven and figure out what was going to come next. And God blocked them off from being able to do that when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu came down. Um, so there's a belief that this is all devil worship. That's another thing that religious people say, oh, it's devilish if you're finding this, if you're finding that. Okay, that's, that's full of shit, right? I mean, if someone's figuring out a crime that happened and helping bring justice in this society or helping someone to point them in the right direction to go on life or to help heal them or... 
you know, when I did a tarot reading on the live podcast, it, what came up, it was really obvious that she went through a breakup and it wasn't a breakup, it was a marriage. She was married and they broke apart and she had a kid and it came out that her outcome was a really good outcome and it ended up that they got remarried and, you know, he fixed his issues, whatever, they just needed time off. Um, to be able to give someone hope and to stay strong, you never know what's going through someone's life. That's no, no form of devil worship. People will say, I've had people say to me, even Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi couldn't do that. Okay, he could do everything except really predict when the end of times are. I don't think there's any psychic who's ever, you know, if anyone says they can predict the end of the times, they're full of shit. I mean, he split the moon in half through God's power. Moses raised up uh, water through God's power. He made his hand shiny. He, you know, he made his staff turn into a snake. Jesus brought people back from the dead. He brought animals back from the dead. He resurrected. I mean, look what a Khadr could do. Um, I mean, Solomon could, could freaking fly. He could talk to animals. I mean, these these guys could do a lot of things, and they, they knew a lot of things. And to think that, you know, it goes back to another video I had talking about walis or saints. You know, to think that there are, you know, I'll bring up a ayat. There's a ayat, it's called Ayat al Nur, okay? It's a very popular surah for people who know it within the spiritual community or the Sufi community. It's a very spot, very popular surah. And what ayat, excuse me. And one of the things it says is light upon light, Allah guides who is light who he wills, and Allah presents example for the people. So in other words, there's always examples present. That that was the point of prophets. If someone comes down and they're a psychic or they're gifted, or they're a medium, or they can see your past lives, or they have dreams of the future. Um, this is the examples that God uses, right? And it's for the right people. And, you know, you're going to get people who say, well, I still don't believe in it. It's still fake. Okay, it's not scientifically proven. It's not scientifically. They, you couldn't even get them to go to a psychic. And if they did, they'd just say, all oh, this shit is fake. Um, you know, I mean, there is a such thing as a saint. There's a such thing as a welly. I mean, just like someone could be born an amazing soccer player, be born an amazing artist, be born good looking, be born ugly, be born this, be born that. Some people are born with psychic abilities. I think some people, they get to a high level of good deeds and a high level of they cleanse their heart. They don't have racism. They don't allow their cult. You know, they don't have sexism. They don't allow their culture to dictate their society. They, they genuinely want to help people. And I think those people can attain astral projection they can attain psychic abilities and i think you just freaking have to be born with it you know i didn't choose this life i think this life chose me the reason i'm sitting here making youtube videos in the first place is because i mean the experiences i've had in life and the people i've met i was never into spirituality it kind of came to me i never like picked up a book i'm like oh this sounds this is trendy this is cool this is whatever no um i knew even a girl who she has dreams in the future she so she would have dreams of places she was going to visit so in the real world she'd be you know she'd be with her friends and they'd go somewhere new and then she'd know her way around I'm like how do you know your way around I'm like hmm. and she'd say like oh i've been here before but where she'd been there before was in her dreams um you know ultimately then this goes into tarot card readings this goes, the tarot card is just it's something that falls in the category of card cardomancy cardomancy Okay, cardomancy is just the, the use of cards to predict things or get psychic abilities. Now, at its core, all it is is using symbols to gain divine inspiration. So essentially, you're asking God, you know, because God controls everything, to show you symbols through various means. Those symbols could mean people use shells. In Santeria, they use shells. They like throw down these shells. They, they flip like a coin. They do this. Those are all symbols, right? Tarot cards are symbols. There's just, you can make your own tarot cards, right? There is nothing essentially special about them. They have numbers on there. People use the numerology. People use this. People use that. Some people just use the Quran to even, if they have questions. Um, I know in Kabbalah, uh, Kabbalah they, they use the Torah. They use, you know, their big numerology there. Um, the thing is, yes, psychics exist. They're real. They can help you. Um go to them for the right reasons go to them because you want direction you're not sure you know uh, what job to do you're not sure what your purpose is you're not sure how something's gonna pan out in your life um don't just go to it because you just want to say who am i gonna marry who am i gonna this you know how much money am i gonna make those are all really unimportant things um but they're real i mean you can go to them you know research a really good local one you know you can go to mediums you can go to People who can see your ancestors, who can see the angels, who can... People or some people are just gifted. Light upon light. Allah guides who is light who he wills and Allah presents examples for the people. There's examples for all of this stuff out there in the world. 
it just goes to prove that God is with us. Now, all these people who were psychic, some of them were Muslim, some of them were Christian, some of them were Jewish, some of them, I mean, it transcended religion, it transcended culture. I mean, it was just, it just goes to show that there's, you know, we're all God's chosen people. You know, anyone who genuinely, genuinely wants to do good is, a, is God's chosen person. Um, you know, do you understand that this stuff exists? Um, do you understand that it's real? It's, it's unique. People, I mean, I, a lot of my viewers, they message me and they're like, oh, I have dreams of the future. You know, I've had dreams of this. And yes, I don't doubt you for a second. I know a lot of people have had that. Um, you know, I, the, the Muslims who like to play the Haram police, they'll try to say this is this, and this is this, and this is fake. And uh, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, God wouldn't, you know, gift someone with an ability without even them trying if it was fake. You know, uh, science, I know I understand I'm a science based person. I'm an analytical based person. Science also, you know, has been shown to prove these things are real through law enforcement, through even intelligence agencies utilizing this. And then ultimately everything comes down to what's your perspective. You go to a psychic, you know, see if they can pull up some issues that are bothering you. I mean, obviously you're not going to, you have to wait maybe a couple of years to see if their future predictions are true. But uh, ultimately, you know, if you go to a good one, it's not always about the future, but, you know, give it a couple of years and see if some of the things they, they said start to articulate. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you for watching and always stay open-minded. Thank you.